ওকে তাহলে গ্রাফ থেকে আমরা বুঝতে পারি হুইচ ফাংশন ইজ ইনক্রিজিং হুইচ ফাংশন ইজ ডিক্রিজিং ডিক্রিজিং তো এখনো বলিনি ডিক্রিজিং তো একই রকম ভাবে হবে আর আরেকটা টার্ম ইউজ হয় সেটা হচ্ছে মনোটোনিক্যালি ইনক্রিজিং মনোটোনিক্যালি ইনক্রিজিং মানে ইট ক্যান বি নন ডিক্রিজিং ওটাকেও মনোটোনিক্যালি ইনক্রিজিং বলে সো এখান থেকে আমি লিখে দিচ্ছি এরকম গ্রাফ এখানে implies fx1 greater than fx2 এখানে কিন্তু ইনিকুয়ালিটিটা চেঞ্জ হয়ে যাচ্ছে সো আমি যেটা লিখছি এখানে দিস ইজ নাথিং বাট ডেফিনিশন অফ ইনক্রিজিং ফাংশন অর ডিক্রিজিং ফাংশন x1 x2 ফাংশনের ডোমেইন থাকতে হবে তাহলে এটাকে বলা হবে ইনক্রিজিং এ ডিক্রিজিং ফাংশন y fx is decreasing decreasing function and eta ke amra strictly decreasing o boli okay so this is about decreasing function ebare ar ekta diagram draw korbo seta hocche ektu onno rokom oi ager tar moto variation ache so this will be like this y axis এটা ইট ক্যান বি ডিক্রিজিং মানে এরম স্লোলি ইট উইল ডিক্রিজ বাট সাম টাইম ইট ক্যান বি কনস্ট্যান্ট अगेन ইট ক্যান ডিক্রিজ সো দিস ইজ দ্য एग्जांपल অফ ফাংশন হুইচ ইজ ডিক্রিজিং বাট নট স্ট্রিকলি ডিক্রিজ সো এখানে লিখতে হবে x1 লেস দ্যান x2 ইমপ্লাইজ fx1 greater than fx2 but here it can be equal also and this is true for all x1 x2 belonging to the domain of the function if it is true then we call this function as and this function is y equal to fx is called ki bolbo eta ke non increasing non increasing or monotonically monotonically decrease non increasing or monotonically decrease okay so this is the this definition of this four uh, type of function increasing mostly uh, mainly we will be discussing increasing and decreasing other two are little uh, i mean a special case there at some point it may be constant so there it will be like this but in terms of derivative when we will discuss first diagram e dekha jacche in the first diagram okay in the first diagram we can see that the function is an increasing obviously graph theke bojha jacche and that is the definition if i draw any tangent to that graph je graph ta draw korechi if i draw any tangent to that 
সেই ট্যাঞ্জেন্ট এক্স অ্যাক্সিস এর সঙ্গে যে অ্যাঙ্গেলটা করবে দ্যাট অ্যাঙ্গেল উইল বি অ্যাকিউট অ্যাঙ্গেল দ্যাট অ্যাঙ্গেল উইল বি অ্যাকিউট অ্যাঙ্গেল আমি একটা ট্যাঞ্জেন্ট ড্র করে দেখাচ্ছি this is a tangent that's cool okay. this is a tangent at this point and it makes that angle theta here and we can understand that whatever point i take and i draw a tangent the angle theta will always be acute angle if the angle theta is acute then tan theta will be positive and we know that tan theta is nothing but slope of a line that is slope of the tangent in this case so slope of the tangent is positive as long as the function is increasing and when i get the term slope of tangent i have a similar concept in derivative that is dy dx is also dy dx also represents slope of tangent therefore what we can conclude here for the first uh, increasing function first diagram we can say that if a function is increasing then its derivative must be greater than zero because tan theta is greater than zero because theta is acute okay and uh, similarly in the second case if i draw a tangent uh, that will give acute angle but the points where the function is continuous uh, sorry the constant there if i draw tangent it is parallel to x axis so therefore uh, derivative is zero so in the second case dy dx greater than zero as well as equal to zero two possibilities are there in the first case only strictly greater than zero similarly in third diagram can you see the uh, screen yes sir yes sir okay i think the screen tower and the পজিটিভ therefore the tan theta will be negative and if tan theta is negative dy dx is also negative that means for decreasing function derivative is negative and for the fourth diagram derivative is negative as well as it can be equal to zero whenever the function is constant okay so that is the discussion but the screen is not responding let me once so um, if f dash x is greater than 0 for all x belonging to a comma b then f x is strictly increasing in a comma b in that interval it is strictly increasing outside the interval what is happening we don't know but in that interval it is increasing. that is ensured by f dash x greater than 0 okay uh, and then similarly we can write if f dash x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belonging to a comma b then fx is non decreasing or monotonically increasing non decreasing in that interval a comma okay. so this is uh, easily understood by the graph and uh, similarly i can write if f dash x is less than 0 for all x belonging to a comma b then fx is strictly strictly decreasing
in that particular interval a comma b and uh, similarly if f dash x is less than equal to 0 for all x belonging to a comma b then fx is non increasing non increasing in that interval a comma b so this is the idea and uh, based on this idea we can solve all the question based on uh, in this uh, particular concept okay uh, so if i you know summarize it in this way i can write like this f dash x greater than equal to 0 implies and implied by fx is increasing so those two points i have taken together increasing means this and f dash x less equal to 0 implies and implied by fx is decreasing so if it is told that strictly increasing then we will not take equal to sign but normally if nothing is mentioned also depending upon the option we will uh, um, take derivative whether equal to zero or not the meaning of taking equal to zero is nothing but the function is constant so that uh, depending upon the question you have to take but normally for any question we have to use this concept this concept that is discussed here just this much if you remember that is enough so this is about our uh, discussion of increasing decreasing function now let me show you by uh, some another graph here in the next page say I have this uh, x-axis here x-axis and uh, I have a function y equal to fx whose graph is like this something like this there is a graph of y equal to fx and let me draw it little bigger then it will be easy for you to understand something like this okay can you see the screen all of you yes sir right. so here i have uh, drawn uh, the graph of a function y equal to fx and you can understand that and this is our x axis you can understand that the function is increasing uh, up, up to certain point and then after that it is decreasing and then again increasing again decreasing like this so if i just uh, put them in this way this is one point say x1 this is another point say x2 this is another point another point x3 x4 
x5 x6 x7 x8 x9 and so so uh, i have got few points here and we can say that in the interval x1 comma x2 the function is decreasing as the graph suggests again from x2 to x3 the function is increasing again from x3 to x4 the function is decreasing and so on so if there is a question that find interval where the function is increasing then if i can draw its diagram then i can easily say from the diagram that the function is increasing in so and so interval if i do not know that uh, diagram then i have to use the concept that is discussed just now here the concept of derivative okay the concept of derivative is purely algebraic method and if you can draw the graph you can easily uh, by looking at the graph you can say whether it is increasing or not uh, if it is increasing in which interval it is increasing and if it is decreasing in which interval it is decreasing all those we can see here one more important thing we want to check that is at this point at the point x1 the function is i mean uh, it is like a highest point and, uh, it's like a highest point here and again here it is a lowest point at x2 that means the minimum value again in x3 it is having a small maximum value again minimum value maximum value and all these what i am drawing here is the tangent at that point the tangent at that point is parallel to x axis okay so this is our one more is there right so this is our diagram Uh, i have drawn tangents at those points and we can see the tangents are parallel to x axis so the derivative must be zero for those points so therefore if you look at the left hand side left side of x1 left side of x1 the function is increasing so from this graph we can check we can we can see that if a function is increasing gradually increasing and then suddenly it is decreasing gradually increasing and going to a peak and then it is decreasing so if such thing happens then there will be a point of maxima there will be maximum value of the function there that is called local maxima okay so that will be discussed in maxima minima uh, concept so here i have just now discussed uh, increasing decreasing and uh, this is one of the graph in which we can check how um, in which interval the function is increasing but increasing decreasing and maxima minima are related okay we can see that if the function is decreasing and then it is increasing that means there will be a minimum minimum value local minima this is called local minima local max so we will be checking that but uh, before that we will have to solve some question of increasing decreasing we will come back to maxima minima again later so for uh, increasing decreasing function what type of questions you can get let us solve that one by one Right, let's take a question. Find the interval. Find the interval in 
in which in which fx equal to fx equal to x cube minus eleven x square no x cube minus six x square plus eleven x minus six is find the interval in which this is into okay, so this is the question uh, try to solve What you have to do here? Anyone got the answer? Sir, so minus, so minus infinity comma two minus one by root three union two plus one by root three comma infinity. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to do it again. So, fx is there. So, I have to find f dash x. f dash x equal to 3x square minus 12x plus 11. Okay. And f dash x when f dash x is greater than 0, the function is in cube. So if it is greater than 0 implies. So how to solve such inequality by way we curve method, but we cannot factorize it uh, this way. We have to find the roots and then factorize. It. So for that we have to find the root first. What are the roots? 3x square minus 12x plus 11 equal to 0 implies x equal to yes tell me minus b meaning 12 plus minus root over b square minus 4ac that is 12 into 11 how much 132 132 132 by 6 6 so that will give us some number say this uh, alpha and beta we can find what is alpha and beta so therefore, we can say this implies x minus alpha into x minus beta greater than 0. And for that, I can use OB curve method. Alpha, the smaller one, beta, the bigger one. And we like this. So plus, plus, minus. So it is positive means this part you have to take and this part you have to take. Therefore the function is increasing in the interval minus. So increasing in minus infinity to alpha union beta to infinity. Where alpha and beta are the root of the equation. That can be. So uh, this is simple, as simple as that. Okay.
let us take uh, one more question here find the interval in which the function find the interval in which the function as increasing and decreasing so you have to find that interval relative increasing and decreasing both intervals first function is like this fx equal to x plus ln 1 minus 4x and the second one is fx equal to x to the power x it is given in the question that x is equal so for these two question you have to find the interval in which the function is increasing as well as decreasing so try to solve dash x is 1 plus log is 1 by that so minus 4 by 1 minus 4 that is equal to 1 minus 4 x minus 4 means minus 4 x minus 3 so this is nothing but minus of 4x plus 3 divided by or we can get rid of this minus 4x plus 3 by 4x minus 1 like this you can These are f dash x. So for increasing it should be positive, for decreasing it should be negative. So for that we have to draw the wavy curve for this. What is the point that I must plot? The point is minus 3 by 4 and 1 by 4. And the wavy curve will be like this. plus plus so from the wavy curve we can very well understand that fx is fx is increasing in the interval in the interval minus 3 comma 4 from negative infinity minus infinity to minus 3 by 4 union 1 by 4 to infinity. 
this is for increasing and um, decreasing in the interval minus 3 by 4 comma 1 by 4. Okay, so this is the thing. We can easily check this. So we just have to differentiate and check its sign in which interval it's positive, which interval it's negative. Easy. Uh, is it matching with your answer? Yes, sir. Right. Second one, anyone has solved? Second one? Second question is fx equal to this. So f dash x you have to find. x to the power x is given. So second answer one by e take infinity thing increasing or zero take one by e decreasing. Ah, so for that we have to differentiate. Tell me what is the derivative of fx? X to the part x one plus ln x. How to find that? Log mu. By taking log logarithmic differentiation, I have told and this particular x power x we have solved in the class and you can remember it x to the power x into 1 plus ln x is the derivative of that that uh, can be done in two three methods i have shown in the course so here x is positive so x power x is always positive uh, so only 1 plus log x is uh, to be checked okay. so 1 plus log x greater than 0 means what 1 plus log x greater than 0 means 1 greater than log x. That means x less than oh, 1 greater than minus log x. Or we can even write this as log x greater than minus 1. Log x greater than minus 1, which implies x is greater than what e to the power minus 1. For that, 1 plus log x is positive. So, therefore, we can say, conclude that fx is increasing in the interval 1 by e to infinity since the derivative is positive there and decreasing in the interval it is increasing from 1 by e to infinity whatever is left for that it is decreasing so that will be minus infinity to 1 by e but the problem is minus infinity is not possible because x is always positive positive that is given in the question therefore the left limit should be zero so this completes the solution so sometimes you have to use wavy curve method when the function is algebraic type after the differentiation and uh, sometimes you don't have to use uh, wavy curve method you can do it by other ideas. Okay. We'll take one more question here. Show that. sin x is less than x less than tan x for all x belonging to 0 comma infinity 0 comma pi by 2 so this is a subjective type of question we have to show this this we already know we can show it by uh, there is uh, x missing here sin x we can show this by drawing the graph of sin x x and tan x 
or we can show this by using some geometry. But here we are going to show this by using the concept of increasing decreasing function. Okay, so I will show you uh, first part, and that is one of the inequality. Second part, you can check yourself. So that is, uh, we start like this. Let f x equal to sin x minus x. Sin x minus x. What I have to show? I have to show that fx is less than zero for all x belonging to zero comma pi by. Now, what is the derivative? This implies f dash x is equal to cos x minus one. What can we say about cos x minus one? We know that maximum value of cos x can be one. So cos x is always less than or equal to 1 means this is less than or equal to 0 for all x belonging to 0 comma pi by 2. So what did I get? So I less than or not? Okay, less than because uh, 0 is not included. So you just put less. Cos x minus 1 is less than 0 for all x belonging to 0 comma pi by 2. Now, if f dash x is negative, we know that the from the definition, not the definition, from the derivative interpretation, that function is decreasing if f dash x is negative. So we can say that this implies f x is decreasing. F x is decreasing. In which interval? Zero comma pi by two. So if it is decreasing, if it is decreasing, uh, also one more thing we can check that uh, what happened if I take x equal to zero? X equal to zero means the function well takes zero. Okay. So if it is decreasing here that will imply 0 less than x uh, we can say like this if it decreasing then 0 less than x we are going to the definition now so far we were using derivative now we are going to the definition of decreasing function if fx is decreasing then 0 less than x must imply f0 is greater than fx is it correct or not yes, because inequality will change and what is told about x in the question it is told that x is lying between 0 to pi by 2 so x can be in that so 0 is obviously less than x so f0 is greater than fx and what is the value of f0 f0 is nothing but sin 0 minus 0 that is 0 so this implies 0 greater than fx fx is sin x minus x right so therefore what we can get sin x is less than x so this is how we have proved it first part what is the method here to prove such things we have to take both the function in one side to prove such inequalities we have to take both the function in one side and assume that as some function fx or gx and then check whether the function is increasing or decreasing by using derivative so we are checking the increasing decreasing nature by using derivative and once we are sure about it we are using the definition of that increasing or decreasing function to get the actual inequality. Okay. So similarly, you can uh, solve the second part by taking fx equal to x minus 10x and accordingly you can solve. Is it understood to everyone or if you have any question you can ask me. Is this clear to everyone? So 
that was one type of question which can be asked from this chapter now let us take another question here it is objective type question if eh, what is this eh? if fx equal to m plus 2 into x cube m plus 2 into x cube minus 3 m x square plus 9 m x minus 1 decreases decreases on r real number that means throw out the real number set it is decreasing then then m belongs to then m belongs to which interval that you have to find here are some options option a minus infinity comma minus 3 union 0 comma infinity uh, option b minus infinity comma 3 option c Minus infinity, comma zero. Union uh, zero is open. Union zero, comma three. And option B. Is minus one, comma zero. Zero comma one. So these are the four options, and that is the question. So, The first step will be like this: f dash x. We have to find out. So answer B. Answer B. We have to check that. So what is our f dash x here? We can find f dash x. F dash x is. Can you tell me what is f dash x? Three times m plus two into x square minus six m x. Then. Plus nine m. It is given in the question that this function is decreasing throughout the real number. Means this should be negative. It should be negative for all x belonging to R. No such interval, but it is 
decreasing for all real numbers. So the derivative must be negative for all real numbers. Okay. If that happens, then what can we say? Means if a quadratic, now this side of the on a less than zero, left side of less than zero, we have a quadratic in X. When a quadratic in X is negative for all X, what is the meaning of that? It means the graph of the quadratic will be like this. It will never touch x axis, it will never intersect x axis. The graph of the quadratic is like this always negative. That means the discriminant of this quadratic must be what should be the discriminant? Negative. Discriminant should be negative because it is not touching, not intersecting x axis. That is one thing. Second thing is the quadratic is downward. That means the Coefficient of x square must be negative. Okay, so that is a concept of quadratic equation. Now, what we will do here, according to that, we can say three times m plus two is negative, and and discriminant. Discriminant is also negative. What is the discriminant? Uh, 36 m square minus 4 into 3 into m plus 2 into 9 m. This should also be less than. Is this clear to everyone? Is this clear to everyone? Yes. Okay. So now let us solve. Uh, this inequality. So the first one gives implies uh, m less than minus 2 and then and we have to solve this 36 m square minus uh, 3 into 36 m square that means minus 72 m square will remain I think. And then again minus what will remain? What is that uh, simplification here? Okay, we can cancel. First of all, we can cancel 36. Let's do that. We can cancel 36 from both sides. So we'll get n square minus 3 into 3m into m plus 2 is less than 0. So this implies m less than minus 2 that is already solved and now this part I can take m common. If I take m common what will remain? m minus 3m minus 6. m minus 3m minus 6 is minus 2m minus 6. That means let me write it here. That implies m less than minus 2 and uh, m into m plus 3 less than 0 cancelling 2. So we have to use OB curve method now. Greater than 0. Greater than 0. Right. Should be greater than 0. So for OB curve, let me take this and I have to take minus 3 and 0 and the OB curve will be like this plus plus minus. so therefore our value of m is m 
therefore m less than minus 2 and and what can i take there m less than minus 3 or m greater than 0 so that means now i have to combine this yeah? less than minus 2 less than minus 3. what will be the answer less than minus 3 so therefore m belongs to minus infinity comma minus 3 union 0 comma infinity okay because uh, this or uh, and this is and and it is with this whole thing there's a odd between them so if you combine by drawing lines you will get this as answer and if you look at the question that is option a option a is the correct one So like this, there can be uh, many questions. Let me take another type of question here. One more type. If phi x equal to fx plus f of 1 minus x so f is a function and uh, phi is another function which is fx plus f of 1 minus x. and f double dash x is less than 0 uh, for all x belonging to Close bracket zero comma one. Then then option A option A Phi is increasing in zero comma half. Phi is increasing in zero comma half option b phi is decreasing let me put it this way in half comma one half comma one option c phi is decreasing in zero comma half and option d phi is increasing in half comma one so these are the four options with the question Let's see how to solve it. Sir, I get question tag with the heaven answer. Sir, last answer to Kikori Liklam. Last answer to Kikori Liklam. Shita Busta Vachum. Sir, A intersection B union C, the A intersection B union A intersection C. So, the A intersection C set at the one at five. Well, zero comma infinity to Kikori touch. ओ ठीक कथा बोल चुके हो ठीक ही बोलो चुके हो क्वेश्चन टकी चिलो दिस इज डिक्रीजिंग उम फॉर ऑल आर इन एम बिलोंग्स टू व्हाट एम बिलोंग्स टू व्हाट एंड अच्छे ए लेस देन जीरो एंड डी लेस देन जीरो ठीक ही बोल चुके Uh, 
ভুল হয়েছে আগের কোশ্চেনটা আই থিং অপশনে ভুল দেওয়া আছে আই হ্যাভ টু কম্বাইন আফটার কম্বাইনিং ইট উইল বি অনলি মাইনাস ইনফিনিটি টু 3 মাইনাস ইনফিনিটি টু কমা মাইনাস 3 देयर এনি অপশন ইজ देयर লাইক দ্যাট মাইনাস ইনফিনিটি কমা মাইনাস 3 সো অপশন এ টা কারেক্ট হবে যদি ওই ইউনিয়নটা না থাকে अदरवाइज কোন অপশনই কারেক্ট নয় অপশন বি টাকে আমরা চেঞ্জ করে দিতে পারি টু মেক ইট কারেক্ট ঠিক আছে তাহলে বি অপশনটা কারেক্ট হয়ে যাবে ওকে ঠিক আছে এবার হ্যাঁ স্যার হুম এবার ঠিক আছে ওটা ভুল হয়ে গিয়েছিল আচ্ছা নেক্সট কোশ্চেন ইজ হিয়ার সলভ দিস কোশ্চেন So, ekhane, option e ache, phi is increasing or decreasing. Mane we have to check the increasing decreasing nature of the function phi. The phi function e dekhte hole, we need to differentiate phi. That is the first thing. So if I differentiate phi, phi dash x, what will I get? I will get f dash x plus f dash of 1 minus x into minus 1 means minus of f dash of 1 minus x. This is the derivative. Now if I have to conclude about increasing decreasing nature, then I have to check in which interval this derivative is negative for decreasing and in which interval this is positive for increasing. So now this one is not a not a function i mean it's not in terms of x cube like that so that i can take wavy curve and all this itself has f function another function f f dash so to check whether f dash x minus f dash 1 minus x is positive or negative to check that we must know something about function f or f dash but we have only one information that is f double dash x is less than zero now what is the meaning of that f double dash x less than zero what is the meaning of that let me write it here f dash is decreasing right f double dash x less than zero means f dash x is decreasing Because f dash x is less than zero means f x is decreasing. So f double dash x less than zero means f dash x is decreasing in zero comma one. So if f dash x is decreasing, then what is the definition of the decreasing function? It will imply f dash. Uh, we can write like this. Then x1 less than x2 implies f dash x1 greater than f dash x2 isn't it that's the definition of decreasing function so knowing that now we'll come back to this here if i take phi dash x is greater than zero if phi dash x is positive then the function then the function phi is increasing so if phi dash x is greater than zero that will imply f dash x 
is greater than f dash 1 minus x. Okay, we are going this way now. Now, what is f dash? Just now we have seen f dash is a decreasing function. So, if f dash is decreasing, then f dash x1 greater than f dash x2, that is the relation, then the other relation will be x1 less than x2. So, this will imply x less than 1 minus x. Is it correct or not? Any question here? Is this part understood? Yes, sir. Yes. So, since the function f dash is decreasing function, so inequality changes when I take out f dash and only take the elements x and 1 minus x. And this implies 2x less than 1. That means x less than half. So, we have started with phi dash x greater than 0 and we have got x less than half. That means for x less than half, phi dash x is greater than 0 and so the function is increasing. So, therefore, therefore our conclusion here is for x less than half but only up to 0 it I can take because the interval is 0 to 1. For x less 0 less than x less than half, phi dash x is positive. So, phi x is increasing. So, in the interval 0 to half, phi x is increasing. In the same way, in the same way, <coughs> we can say that for half less than x less than 1 the other part of the interval what is remaining we get phi x is decreasing function okay so this is the solution we check the solution now so which option is correct option a and option b these are correct both the options are Is it understood how we have applied this information that is provided in the question and also the definition of decreasing function? Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Let us take another question. Okay, this question is, suppose fx is a differentiable function, differentiable function such that such that fx into f dash x fx into f dash x is less than 0. This is true for all x for any x it is true then which of the following is correct so option a is fx is increasing option b mod of fx is increasing Option C, fx 
is decreasing option d mod of fx is decreasing which one is correct that you have to I think I think again the screen is clear. Sorry, it couldn't be. Screen time. Properties of monotonic function. Okay. A question the body to try good. Okay, so I found kitchen property at it. It's a good one that help for the question solve for the children will discuss for properties of. monotonic function Okay, so act number number one. If f x is increasing, or decreasing in bracketed decrease in telepathy. If fx is increasing, then minus fx is decreasing or increasing. Mane okane increasing hole ekane decreasing hobe, or okane decreasing hole ekane increasing. Number two.
if f and g two functions fx and gx both are increasing or decreasing if both are increasing then then f plus g f x plus g x is also increasing or decreasing accordingly number 2 f minus g or f into g f minus g that means fx minus gx actually fx minus gx or fx into gx or fx divided by gx means for uh, addition operation it will be same but for other operations this need not be need not be increasing or decreasing means uh, plus thakle uh, it is must that uh, age plus thakle hoche increasing hole increasing hobe decreasing hole decreasing hobe but other operations it is not necessary mane increasing thakle increasing hobe ki decreasing hobe we cannot say we cannot say anything acha eta gelo number 2 number 3 if f increases if Uh, one of the function fx is increasing or decreasing and the other function gx is decreasing means they are opposite if f is increasing and g is decreasing or increasing or they should be opposite And then number one, fx minus gx is increasing or decreasing, but nothing can be said about the other. means fx plus gx or fx into gx or fx by gx for this three we cannot say anything uh, need uh, can't be said anything can't be said about them we cannot say anything okay so this is about addition subtraction and all now we will be discussing about composition you know composition of function f circle g so for that what you have to do uh, we can uh, do it in this way means in, in a table you can do it let us take f here f x function f x then g x then f 
सर्कल जी जी सर्कल We keep it as F, just F and G. F circle G and G circle. Okay. So here, right. If F is increasing, if F is increasing. And G is also increasing. Then F circle G will be increasing, and G circle F will also be increasing. But if F is decreasing and G is also decreasing, both are decreasing, then also their composition will be increasing. Okay, so if both are increasing, their compositions are increasing. If both are decreasing, then also their compositions are increasing. Now, if one is increasing and the other one is decreasing, means F is increasing, we can tell, and G is decreasing. Then their composition F circle G will be decreasing. G circle F will also be decreasing. Similarly, if F is decreasing and G is increasing, then also both of them will be. Decreasing. So this uh, whatever I have told here, this can be. Checked or this can be proved by uh, taking cases. I mean, normal proof is there for this. For all four uh, types, you can give proof. I will give proof of one of them here. It is easy to prove. which one to prove. Let us prove the last one. Huh? F is decreasing and G is increasing. Let us prove that. So we take like this. Uh, X one less than X two will imply. What about F function here? F is decreasing, so if I apply F here, I will get F of x one is greater than F of x two. That means if I take x one less than x two or f x one and f x two, their signs are uh, changing. They are you know, f x one is bigger. So now f x one is bigger and f x two is smaller. I apply G on that. G is an increasing function. So if I apply G on that. I will get g of f x one is greater than g of f x two because g function is increasing function, so inequality will not change. Okay, so now finally we can write this as g circle f of x one is greater than g circle f. Of x two, so we have started with x one less than x two. With that, we have started, and finally we got g of f, g circle f of x one is greater than g circle f of x two. So inequality is changing. Inequality changing means the function is decreasing. Therefore, therefore, g circle f is decreasing. Like this, we can prove all of them. 
okay clear is this clear to everyone yes sir all right so this is about increasing decreasing function you can get direct questions or you can get questions where this concept will be applied um so uh, that is all today we in the next class we will be discussing about maxima minima we'll be discussing sir ha bolji sir question aa raha hai ek baar dekho jara